Hello, hello, hello! So, to whoever is watching in this video, I hope you're having a good day. And I am Mary Rose Aurelia, and this video is made for our Fed 14 um, physical activities towards health and fitness, to outdoor and adventure activities. So, for today's video, we will be talking about what is inside my bag when I go to hiking or camping. But before we'll proceed to knowing what is inside my bag, um, let us know first what should be done. So yeah, let's not jump off directly to knowing what is inside my bag. But first, we'll know um, first what are the activities that will be done while in the camping site and how long are we going to stay there. How long does it take to reach the camping site? The weather, the temperature, the route that we are going to take. And most importantly, uh, knowing the purpose of why the team is doing such activity. That way, we will know what is the level of preparation we are going to do. What needs to be brought aside from the food, water, and clothes. And definitely, planning is very important to organize a hiking activity. First, we have here the pre-climb planning. This must be done at less than 3 days before the actual climb. The things to do here is planning a climb, route planning, climb organization, budgeting, and meal planning. In planning a climb, one must submit a climb plan to the organization officers for the climb plan to be approved as a designated climb. Then, Climb organizers serve notice to the members at least one week before the actual climb and conduct a pre-climb meeting at least three days before the actual climb. Next is determine the level of your preparation. Either it is minor climbs, major climbs, training climbs, guideship climbs, clean-up climbs, and exploratory climbs. Fifth is make a courtesy call. So it is important to make your intentions known to the nearest barangay or local government officials and then find out if there is any park fee that needs to be addressed before going up to the area. Then the route planning. So route planning allows you and the team to be clear with which route to take and plans for alternative routes if emergency occurs. There are two areas of concern here, the trip to jump off point and climb proper. What is included in route planning? First is the itinerary. This serves as the guide. This is where the plans are recorded, especially the routes with information that are helpful to the travelers. Moreover, it is where the detailed plan for a journey is written, where the places to visit is listed, and the route to take. Then, know the transportation to be used to and from the expedition, possible lodging, the budget of the whole trip, the amount of food to prepare and bring, and the type of equipment that must be brought along. Moving on to the climb organization. When planning a climb, you should not go alone. Rather, you should go as a team. On the one hand, upon going as a team, the participants have played a role to make the climb secured. We have this what we call climb organization. There should be a team leader. The medic describe the tail and the contact person. This is very important to show sense of responsibility. However, the person with higher role is not the only one to show responsibility here, but everyone who participated. Then, the budgeting. This is very important to make the hiking plan very much likely to happen. The team should determine the approximate cost of transportation, possible lodging, meals, and other expenses. Next is the meal planning. Here, foods to be taken are those that are less likely to induce thirst, are not heavy, and can last long. The food to carry must be enough for the days and night you spent in the wild. Also, there should be extra rations because we might not know emergencies occur, so it is better to be prepared. Moving on to the hiking and backpacking safety. In this section of preparation, one should be aware of his or her cardiovascular fitness and muscular strength because um, this tells whether you are fit enough to go hiking or climbing the mountain, whether or not your body can endure the tiring activity. Perhaps you can hike 
you are able. However, the question is, how far can you walk? When planning hiking activity, you should worry about your strength, endurance, or your cardiovascular fitness and muscular strength. Then, the camp management. One must be equipped with the environmental rules and your role as a hiker to the natural environment. You should know what to bring to avoid destruction of the natural environment. And we have the live with no trace principle. And to achieve this while in hike is to be responsible with your wastes or trash. Bring something where you can dispose your trashes and not just throw it in the ground. Do not bring things that can pose destruction to the wildlife animals. Either way, do not make an act of environmental destruction. And the equipment in hiking and backpacking. So here, um, the equipment you bring must be the essentials that will support your survival in the hiking and while in the camping site. So yeah, hello again guys. We're now in the exciting part and let us proceed to knowing what is really inside my bag when I go to hiking or camping. But first, as you can see, I have changed my clothes. Uh, something went up and that forced me to change my clothes though. So yeah, I have here a backpacking checklist that will serve as a guide for me to really check whether I have prepared um, all the things that I need when I go to hiking or camping. And uh, yes, I have it here. This one. And uh, this one. Yes, I have listed here the things that I will be needing when I am in the camping site and while in hiking. But I will now um, just read what I have written here on um, the things that are really 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 essential when you go to hiking so yes backpack is the first and the least which is the most essential when you go to hiking this is where you put all your things when you go to hiking next in the list is the boots of course it's very important because this one is the um, thing that you use when you go to hiking when you go to walking this must feel very comfortable to your feet and uh, yeah here's the importance of the wearing a good boots hiking boots offer better ankle coverage which helps prevent ankle sprains and much steeper midsoles which provide better support so it is um, dangerous to wear regular sneakers or tennis shoes when hiking because not only can you sprain your ankle but you can actually hurt yourself if you are um, if your hiking boots are new you should wear them before the trip to walk around the city or in the forest your feet should be used to the shoes otherwise it leads to calluses during hiking and then of course the uh, foods that you need when you go to hiking is for your energy um, to sustain your um, survival there when you are in the camping site. So any outdoor activity requires more energy than your usual daily activities. In order to be able to enjoy and endure the increased need for energy, your body will need more water and food. So pre-cooked are better than raw foods. Foods to bring are the banana chips, the tuna, Train mix, cereals, hard boiled egg, jelly, fresh foods, dry foods, comfort foods, and, and here are other essential things or equipment to prepare. The pack rain cover, clothes, sleeping equipment, tent, insect repellent, rope, Swiss army knife, weasel, scissors, watch, water treatment tablets, first aid kit, water bottle, map, compass, headlamp, repair kit, towel, wet wipes, camp shoes, and photography equipment. And then, yeah, that's all that will be um, the very essential things that I will be bringing when I go to hiking. And in conclusion, planning a hiking activity, one should be well equipped with what must be done and what must be prepared. Uh, you are planning to go in a remote area and you must be reliant on yourself for your survival and the team's survival. Whatever you fail to do so might affect you and your team. Be responsible in doing your part as one of the participants in hiking activity. And that would be all. Um, thank you for listening. Keep safe and I hope you learned something from here. And bye!